folks, welcome back to the channel. So with all of the hype currently around USTC, I think it's time to take a look into the burn methods, the burn routes, and, and what's really going on with burning and what we could do possibly as a community now. Con considering throughout our life cycle, our road that we've walked, we, for a majority of it, we walked not knowing if there would ever be a repeg. So there was never really a drive to burn USTC. One of the good things right now that we do know is the supply is lower now than it was before the crash, as you can see leading up to the crash. And then this is actually that monumental burn that I spoke to um, all of you about. But anyway, it's, it's burnt down pretty low. And the, the idea is of what the quant team are saying is the more they burn now, the less they have to buy back later. Now, one of the underlying issues I think is buying back all of that USTC that, for example, right, is sat on exchanges. It's just, it's there waiting to be purchased, right? So if we go to top holders, Lunk Dash is going to be a little bit slow because obviously this is being sunset. I'm going to be giving you an alternative system in an upcoming video probably later today. So keep an eye out. As you can see in the hot wallet, there's a decent amount of USTC across board. That's the 800 million that we're currently trying to get in a mature manner, not intrusively, not just erasing it from people's wallets, right? We've got to buy all of this back. So a lot of people are saying at the moment with all of the hype around everything, why doesn't Binance start burning USTC instead of LUNC? And I think a lot of people have missed my video recently, or maybe you didn't catch it, but that was supposedly the last burn. And I think a lot of people have, have missed this with all of the hype, with everything that's going on, the ups, the downs, the lefts, the rights, this has gone missed. And I think if people knew that this was actually the last burn, I think people would be a lot more talkative about it. Now, could this be, right, and just hear me out here, crazy conspiracy time, put your tinfoil hats on. Could it be that this is the last Terra Classic burn and they're going to move to start burning USTC? Because realistically, right, we never walked this road ever thinking to ourselves we could repeg USTC. It was always sort of if, buts, coconuts, legal implications and, and stuff like that. The road's very clear now. We, we know where we're going in the USTC team. As much as what I know in the podcasts that I did with the lead developer who designed the whole thing saying, don't put your eggs all in one basket, don't put all of your faith in us, they're now sort of pushing the image out as if to say, put put all of your eggs in one basket, put all of your faith in us, and we will repeg this coin. So ultimately, we are paying them to do that. So I think it's high time that maybe, just maybe, we start to divert our burning towards buying back USTC and maybe just burning that. Or if you're getting it from the Oracle Rewards Pool, for example, Project Lunk Burn gets a lot from the Oracle Rewards Pool. Maybe we should just burn that instead of swapping it. I think this is something that we could all start to do as a community. All of the different burn projects out there, likelihood is they'll hear hear about this video and they'll go, oh, you know what, HTC's right, that is a good idea. And the likelihood is they'll start implementing it. now. One of the funniest things recently is about stuff that I say, stuff that I do, right? If you were in the Terra Luna space, they're introducing a new NFT system, which is basically Lunk Penguins just rebranded. The whole system, the, the way it works, everything is it, it's very funny to see that. It's just got a bit of a twist to it. But, you know, um, I think what what do people say? When someone copies you, it's the, the best kind of flattery. When someone takes your idea and and you know, utilizes it. It, it. It's it's very flattering for me because it's nice to see that I'm inspiring people to actually do something different with the NFT sector. And that's what it's all about. But like I was saying, Project Lunk Burn is growing and it's growing at a nice steady rate. I myself keep buying those NFTs out of any spare LUNT that I get. It's where a lot of my stuff goes instead of just putting it into NFTs like I used to. I simply put it towards that project. But <clears throat> Part of Project Lunk Burn is to introduce PLB token. Now, PLB token will only be introduced once the actual NFTs are sold out. 
that will only be purchasable with Atom, right? So if you wanted to get involved in that, you would definitely need to go buy some Atom and then buy some PLB tokens with that. Your PLB tokens would then generate a burn yield, okay, in USTC because the module itself, I've designed it so it performs USTC buybacks and simply burns them once a month. All automated, self-serving, and it was, I didn't really want to get to this point of saying to people, you know, there are lots of different things in what I call the blue book. Now, my blue book is where all of my projects come from. I've spent lots of time sitting, you know, when I'm not doing stuff at my main job and I've got a little bit of time to myself. I normally get that out and I normally cultivate my ideas, my projects and what I've got planned for the future. But I think with all of the hype around USTC and the quant team simply saying to everyone, burn it and burn all of it. I think if we show them as a community, look, we'll do this and we'll do this maturely to help you out. Maybe it will reduce the sort of weight on their shoulders where proposals are getting put forward, which are a little bit quick to the gun. And it's sort of like we haven't even got to that nuclear point yet where they've 100% then percent said they're not going to give them back. Even if they did say that, I still 100% believe we should never, ever, ever allow anybody to access even one wallet on this blockchain, right? Because we denied Terraport the right to do that. And if you want a good historical example, I'm like an elephant. I don't forget anything, right? Rabbi and Bilbo and co went absolutely mental that the L1 team had helped Terraport get together a proposal to be proposed to governance, to be run through governance. Oh, it was, you know, oh my God, you know, this is like the worst thing ever. And it was the worst thing ever. Of course it was going to get voted down. How could we even allow someone to access any wallets? This is not what DeFi is about. And that's why it got shot down so strongly. And it's, we can't rush into these things, even if, you know, we want to burn. Of course we want to burn, but we've got to do these things right. But like I was saying, looking into the USTC situation, right? The goal's way more obtainable for us as a community, right, to start chewing through the USTC supply. And you're going to say to me, well, why, Jay? Well, because if they are so adamant that burning is going to get the job done, it's going to get it done quicker, it's going to get USTC repegged quicker, right? Let's say in the best case example, USTC finds its peg at 10 cents. You know, that's a, that's a lot of money right now. That's like a 10x instantly, Okay. Let's say then it moves all the way up to a dollar, it pegs, and we're there, we're maintaining the peg. That's it. The world is our oyster at that point, or so to speak, the cosmos is our oyster, and there's so much we can do. Burning through the LUNC supply in the same manner that they did it before, I mean, it would go so quick, it would be insane. I think somebody did the maths and it would take 36 years at the current rate that we're burning LUNC to get down to a decent amount. The biggest difference is with when you activate the market module to reintroduce the arbitrage burning module is, I'm going to simplify this as best as I can, you will be attracting people to the system so you won't need to do buybacks because people will be putting that USTC that they've got on exchanges or exchanges themselves, right? Utilize compounding on our blockchain. So why would they not utilize their USTC that they've got sat there to earn <clears throat> a couple cents on, on each trade that they do to, to maintain the peg or reduce the peg, so to speak, you know, bring it up or bring it back down. I'm going to do a video going through the market module, but you know, I've been thinking a lot and I've been doing a lot of deep diving into, you know, what could happen and ultimately what what the quant team wants to do is reduce the supply so much that they will be able to mint a lot more in the future. And this means that, for example, they could produce liquidity when we're like at a dollar and they could bring the peg down to like, I don't know, 99 cents. And then allow everybody to arbitrage to bring it back up and they could keep repeating and rinsing that process. And I think that's kind of the core concept behind it all. So I think some people would think, oh, Minton, this is really bad. But no, ultimately, this is the goal behind it all. The As much as I didn't agree with the team, so to speak, right, at the end of the day, it's all gone through governance. And I think everybody here knows that I will always respect governance. It'll always be something that 
if we if we can't respect governance right we, you know we're no good you know you're only as good as your word in crypto and that's realistically all we've got in DeFi. no one has to dox to be a validator and you don't have to go through no crazy lengths to do stuff but anyway USTC burning definitely a thumbs up if let's say in the worst world that this truly is the last burn you know i think we should try our utmost best to find out why they stopped in a polite manner get an answer for that and um try and get them to reintroduce some kind of ustc burn but you know it's one of those times when i've always said to people never ever take this stuff for granted and there's been so many things going on with the blockchain so recently with the doxing and all of those different things that you know this could be a punishment at the same time we just don't know we have been punished before for reminting coins and you know if binance if cz binance was to find out that we as a blockchain introduced a update that intrusively went in and burnt coins in another wallet what are they going to think well they can just they can just burn what they want some people who are developers and understand the blockchain in depth will say well no you can't burn coins off chain but the simple fact is right what are we looking at here oh a terror address any of these addresses right when you do a deposit or withdrawal there's a burn tax okay there is a burn tax when you go from our chain to their chain because it's in you know those wallets don't belong to them they're created well they do belong to them but they're created by our system they're subject to our governance to a, a certain extent and that was why Binance had to whitelist all of their wallets so this is also another thing that comes into question if Binance have completed their last Terra Classic burn we need to remove their whitelisting as soon as possible and ensure that they're being taxed the same as every other chain and ultimately a lot of people would say well no they've done a lot for us you know, we should continue to allow them to do things freely. And I say, treat LUNC as if it's a business. What would a business do? What would Binance do? Well, you know, it's as simple as that. They would remove the whitelist and they would say, you're not doing this for us anymore. You know, we not going to be doing this. So you're going to have to pay your fees on chain, so to speak. So it's all these sorts of things that come into question. And it's like, the same thing that I asked myself with the RCD, LCD infrastructure that we pay Terra Rebels for. Ultimately, we don't actually need to pay them for anything. And all nodes would just continue to run the endpoint infrastructure that they've always run for free. You know, they're running infrastructure for free. They don't charge us for anything. They're, they've never charged us for it. It's all very questionable. And like I said, you need to treat things as a business, right? So if you look at that quarterly cost... Can we reduce that? Well, yeah, we can get rid of that just by simply saying, well, no, we're not going to pay you. If you want to continue to run your endpoints and your infrastructure, that's totally up to you. Um, all nodes are giving it to us for free. And we could just walk that path. And it's sort of like, if this was Binance, if this was a business and we were in a board meeting, what would they do? Well, they'd simply get rid of the $40,000 quarterly cost and get it for free, wouldn't they? Folks, let me know what you think about all of this. Let me know what you think about USTC burning. I know a lot of people are very hyped up about this. So trying to get some more USTC content, uh, content out there, do my part, do my bit and help push this revitalization forward. Lots of different stuff going on. Hopefully we can get a response out of VIN at some point. It's it's very agitating for me. A lot of people are simply saying, you know, HCC, step up, step forward and take control of the situation. I don't want it. I know a lot of people want me to take it, but I just don't want it. I don't need a leadership position or to be paid to continue doing what I already do and have started doing by proposing and sort of leading the way, spearheading things and, and getting the community and validators to vote on consensus as we should as a community. Because, you know, your cat can propose something if it wants. Stay safe, stay humble, stay aware. None of this is financial advice. Be aware of scammers, doppelgangers, anyone pretending to be me. And, um... Yeah, it's all for educational purposes only. It's my own humble opinion. I should really get a disclaimer at the start and just stop saying that. I think that's what I'm going to do. Catch you in the next one, folks.